Also talking security matters, the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, in Adamawa State has trained no fewer than 900 personnel under its Safe School Initiative to protect schools from attacks. The NSCDC's commander in the state, Ibrahim Minasara, disclosed this in commemoration of the 2023 International Day to Protect Education Against Attack. Minasara, who was represented by the command's public relations officer, Dimas Bilet, said that the Corps is doing everything possible to guarantee a secured learning environment from the national down to the state level. Uh, undergoing a very severe training in respect to uh, the national uh, plan for safe schools initiative. As it is, just yesterday, about 400 officers and men uh, came back from training, and this training was held in Medjugorje. And by Monday, uh, almost 500 has taken off this morning, will be arriving at uh, Benue State for another set of training. This is all in preparation towards our effort in making sure that we have a very conducive environment for learning. In his remarks, Commissioner in the State Ministry of Education, Garba Pella, said attack on education is a violation of human rights and a direct assault on the potential of future generations. Pella, who was represented by the Deputy Director, Basic Education, Samuel Bello, said whenever schools are bombed, teachers are threatened and students are denied the opportunity to learn. The International Day to Protect Education from Attack is a call to action, a call to solidarity, and a call to commitment. It is a reminder that we must do everything in our power to protect education from the source of conflict and violence. For a young child to have a safe environment for learning, having good um, uh, and clean toilets, having a place where when a girl child is menstruating, she has a safe place that she can go and wash herself and take care of herself. Child conflict is hardly a rolling their children into public schools. The problem of poor infrastructure is one of the common problems that affect our schools in Adamawa with the exception of few. Since all those problems and challenges are facing our education, what can the government do to eradicate it? We are calling Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.